Praise the Lord. I'm delighted to see you. I'm delighted to have you on this program. I want to welcome you each and every time just to get tuned. And I know the Lord is going to bless you. The Lord is going to encourage you. The Lord is going to build your faith even as we move together in the Word of God. Today, I want to speak about a very wonderful topic that I love, a topic that I call a vision. And a vision, every man and every woman on the face of the earth has a vision. Jeremiah chapter 1 and verses 5, the Bible says, Before I formed you in your mother's womb, I knew you. And before you were born, I set you aside for a specific assignment. That speaks to the vision and destiny that each and every one of us has been given by God. When God gives you a specific assignment, when you find it as a human being or when you find it as a child of God, it means you have found your vision. And today, I just want us to look at what is a vision, uh, how one behaves or how one can carry himself when you have a vision that you've been given by God to fulfill in your generation. A vision is what God has created you for. Number one, a vision is what God has created you for. The original purpose, why you were created, why you are still alive, why you did not die yesterday, why that sickness did not take away your life, why corona has not taken away your life, you are still existing because there is a desire that God has for you to accomplish on the face of the earth. And that is what we call a vision. And number two, a vision is a divine assignment that God has given human beings. A divine assignment that God has given you. When you receive a call, from God, maybe to become a minister. Many people think uh, only pastors receive vision, only pastors receive calls to become ministers. God can give you a call to become a doctor. God can give you a vision to become a teacher. God can give you a vision to become a mother. God can give you a vision to become uh, an entrepreneur. So. Each and every one of us, wherever God has placed you, as you receive insights, as you receive wisdoms, uh, wisdom pertaining that area, it is God directing you to fulfill his mandate, hmm? to fulfill his vision eh? according to how he created you. There are men who enter business world and things will change. There are men who enter political uh, area or arena and things will change. There are men who enter the family uh, area and things will change because God has wired you. God has created you to fulfill a vision in that given area. So when you receive a divine visitation, a divine call, God will give you a vision. When we remember in the scripture, in the book of uh, Acts chapter 9, the Bible speaks about Paul. The Bible says, and when Paul was on his way to Damascus, the Bible says, light from heaven flashed around him. And as this light was too mighty for Paul, he fell to the ground and he asked, Master, who are you? He was there for three days without walking, without eating, without doing anything just to receive a call and to receive a vision from God. And God says, I am Jesus. I am your master, the one you have been persecuting. But from now henceforth, you are not going to be a murderer. You are not going to kill people. But I am going to use you specifically for my divine assignment to reach out to the Greek to reach out to the Gentile, to reach out to my people. And from there, we see the mighty apostle, 
the one who has written uh, 13, 12 to 13 episodes in the New Testament. I am here to tell you, divine calling are received in a place of seclusion. Divine calling are received in a place of uh, divine seeking. When you seek God for divine intervention, for divine direction, that is when people receive divine calling. Look at the story of Samuel. Samuel, in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 2, the Bible says, as he was in the house of uh, Eli, sleeping at the altar, at night he heard a voice, Samuel, Samuel. And he thought that it was Eli that was calling him. He, he goes to Eli and he asks, have you called me? And then Eli said, no, I have not called you. He goes back to sleep. When he's sleeping, again he hears the voice, uh, Samuel, Samuel. Then he comes to Eli, have you called me? And then Samuel say, uh, Eli says, I have not called you. And then the third time, Eli realized that this boy is being called by God. I am here to tell you, each and every one of us, there is nobody on the face of the earth that has been created to become a nobody. God has created us to become somebody. He has created us to become people of influence, people who cause a difference wherever God is going to position us. I pray that in this year 2022, may you find your divine calling. It is not necessary to become a preacher. It is not necessarily to become an evangelist. It is not necessarily to become a worshiper. It can be the call to become an entrepreneur. It can be the call to become a, a, to become a teacher. It can be the call to become the president of this nation. And as you receive your calling, as you receive your divine visitation, discover who God has created you to become. I know you are going to you are going to flow in the will of God. Because when we do not know what God has called us to become, misuse is inevitable. When we do not know what God has positioned you in this generation to do, misuse becomes inevitable. I pray that you will not be misused because you don't know where you fall. Now, I want us to see uh, how we can be able to fulfill vision, how we can be able to flow in the vision, how we can be able to pursue our visions. Number one, a vision can be fulfilled through prayer. A vision can be fulfilled through prayer. Once you receive a vision, the most important thing to do is to pray. Because when you pray, you shall receive direction on how to fulfill the vision. When you pray, you shall receive a heavenly backing on how to be able to be strengthened, to be able to be equipped, to be able to be directed for the vision to manifest. Habakkuk chapter 2 verses 2, the Bible says, And the Lord answered me and he said, Write down the vision and make it plain upon tablets that he may read and run with it, that he may run who reads it. Verses 3, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie, though it may tarry for, uh, though it may tarry, Wait for it, because it will surely come to pass. Praise the name of the living God. Many of us, when we receive a vision today, we think it is going to manifest tomorrow. We think this thing is happening like now. When you receive a vision that God is blessing you with a marriage, you begin to think maybe it is tomorrow. Maybe it is today I'll meet Mr. Wright. I'll meet this. But I want you to know, a vision may be given today that will happen years. A vision may be given today that will happen tomorrow. A vision may be given today that will happen today. Now, when we want to know the due season for a vision, it is when we wait upon God. 
It is when we pray to God. Because God is the author and the perfecter of your faith. He's the one who has started that vision and is the one who is going to bring that vision unto accomplishment. My prayer is that as you receive the vision, pray. As you receive the vision, wait upon God for him to direct you, for him to give you the due season for your manifestation of your vision. Luke chapter number 22 and verse 41. Luke chapter 22 and verses 41. Luke 22 and verses 41. Uh-huh. This is what the Bible says. Luke 22 and verses 41. The Bible says, mm, And he withdrew from them about a stone cast, and knelt down and prayed. This is Jesus. Jesus came to die and to resurrect so that he can save the humanity. Now, when he went on that mountain of transfiguration to pray, the Bible says he withdrew from the multitude. He withdrew from uh, the, the disciples and he went a stone throw. He went further so that he can kneel down and he can pray. Uh -huh. Verses 42 is saying, Father, if you be willing, remove this cup from me. List not my will, but thy will be done. Many other times you will receive a vision and you will wonder uh, if the vision has not been clearly stated, clearly revealed to you, you will wonder if really this is what I am supposed to do. And here Jesus is saying, my heart is willing, but my body is weak. My heart is willing for me to die for the humanity race, but my body is weak. But not my will, but your will be done. When we pray, we submit to the vision of God. We submit to the will of God. We submit to what God is doing in our generation. We do not just go according to our will, but we go according to the will of God. My prayer is that this season we pray more, that we will not go as blind people. We will not go according to our desires. We will not go according to our wish, but we will go and move according to the will and the purposes of God. Whatever is commanded by God needs God to continue to reveal, to continue to strengthen, to continue to direct. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verses 1. When the time of something has come, when time, time and chances happen to all, time and chances happen to each and every one of us. Number two, for us to be able to fulfill our vision, hmm, you must be able to attract people who are of right mind. You cannot fulfill a vision with a wrong company. The Bible says in Amos chapter 3, verse 3, two cannot walk together unless they agree. Your vision may tarry because you are walking with the wrong people. Your vision may be frustrated because you have the wrong company. But when God will give you the right company, they will accelerate the manifestation, the actualization of your vision. So from today, pray that God will give you the right company, the right people for the manifestation of your vision, for the actualization of your vision. Ephesians chapter 10, chapter 6, verses 10, the Bible says, We do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but we wrestle against principalities, against the rulers of darkness, against the, uh, the, 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 the princes in the higher heavens. But our wrestling is not for blood, uh, blood uh, and flesh. It is a spiritual battle. It is when you are spiritual, uh, spiritually alert, that you'll be able to discern the right people for the right vision, for the right job. 
My prayer is that God will give you the right people. God will open your eyes that you begin to see the right way, the right things to do. May the Lord bless you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for my listener that them that have been given visions, them that have been given uh, destinies, none of us will miss their destiny. None of us, their destiny will be frustrated. None of us will live a life of frustration. I pray for supernatural backing. I pray for divine intervention. I pray for divine visitation. I pray for the right people in your life in the name of Jesus. From today, receive divine insight. The Bible says, uh, I pray that let the eyes of your understanding be enlightened, that you'll be able to know what is right, what it is the uh, true, and what it is the right calling for you. I pray that the Lord will release it for you. The Lord will give you the right calling in the name of Jesus and the Lord will give you the right people uh, for you to fulfill it. Father, I pray them that have uh, their visions been aborted, their visions have been frustrated. The Bible says, even though the tree has been cut down, at the saint of rain it shall sprout again. I pray that let that dream and that vision be uh, revitalized. Let that dream be strengthened in the name of Jesus. I pray that let the grace of God that teaches men to say no to ungodliness, let it come upon you so that your dream may not be frustrated. I pray from this altar that God is going to give you the right people, is going to give you the right people to stand with your vision, financiers, people who will come to invest in your vision, people who come to hold your hand, people who come and to support that which God has ins instructed you to do. I pray that God will give you the right people in your marriage for it to stand. I pray that God will give you people who will strengthen you, who people will encourage you in the right direction. In your business. I pray in your political ambition. I pray that the Lord is releasing the right people. God is releasing even them that are desiring to get married. May the Lord give you the right people that will pray with you the right people that will wait upon the Lord, upon the Lord together with you for the right partner for you for the right people to come into your life i pray for them that are investing, that God will give you the right place for your investment. You shall not invest in air. You shall not be like a, a person bunching the air, but you shall hit the target in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, because you have done it. Continue following my program. Continue following us. And I know God is going to bless you. God is going to lift you. Continue liking my page. Continue subscribing. Welcome, friends. There are topics <clears throat> that you really desire to hear and uh, God speaking to you about, or you have heard me speak about and you really want to get the video and get the preaching on my channel. Just go into the uh, uh, comment section and leave a comment for me. I will look at the comments. I will pray together with you. And also, I'll trust God for your desired area to hear God from and then I know God is going to bless us. God bless you.